Good afternoon class, welcome back to another one of my Denizen scripting tutorials. Today we're going to be covering task scripts. Now what are task scripts you might ask? Well, they are pretty much an extension of world scripts. And uh, well, we will explain that here shortly. So if you haven't already, um, if you haven't joined my Discord channel, make sure to hop on over. The link will be in the description below as always. And uh, there you'll be able to see a lot of stuff going on. I got script helpers now. I've got some people who are really familiar with Denizen who might be willing to help you out. Uh, all the functions are going to be the same. For my Mythic Mobs watchers, um, I am not replacing the channel with Denizen. I am simply adding on to it. Uh, I did have some questions before about that, if my channel will still be Mythic Mobs based. And primarily, yes, it will. However, I am working on incorporating more plugins into it, such as Denizen. So if you ever need any help, uh, you do want to check out what all is going on, see the latest news, uh, even check out my server, make sure to hop on over to my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get started. Task scripts... Hello. Task scripts are a extension of world scripts. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and go back into our last file that we made together, our world scripts.yml. Now here we have a thing that we used, which was block breaker. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just, um, we're going to tag all of this out and we're going to, we're going to type up some new events. So this one, um, you know what, actually we're just going to add events rather than change it, so let's do on player breaks uh, oak planks, that sounds fine, oak planks. We're going to type a new thing here, we're going to type run, and then we're going to call it my task. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and actually get into the task script. So down below we're going to type in my task type task and then script and from there we can go ahead and add on to different things so what we're gonna do we're gonna type in narrate player dot name activated this script okay so once we have that we're gonna go ahead and save and reload Just typing ex reload Okay, so now let's see. We don't have any wood plank sign around, do we? No, I picked the wrong village for this. So we're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and pull some, and we're gonna. And as you can see below, mushroom status activated this script. Okay, so we can see that it's, you know, we could have very easily just thrown the narrate up into here instead. But what if we want different things? Well, we're gonna go ahead and recopy this one, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna take that, copy, paste, run my task. Reload. Okay, so we have it set to cobblestone and wood or oak planks. On player breaks oak planks, run my task. On player breaks cobblestone, run my task. So as you can see, now it's running when both of them are broken. Let me Okay, so let's see. When I break the grass, nothing happens. Oak planks, the script runs. Cobblestone, the script runs. Now tasks are pretty much, they're really, really helpful if you have multiple things going on. Like you want several uh, triggers to link to the same thing. I could easily just copy and paste this into every single one of them. But say I want to do a, um, I want to add more to my task. We're going to do give diamond, whoops, diamond player.name quantity five. And actually, we'll do one. And we will do give money player quantity five. And we're going to type in another narration. Narrate. Uh, and a one thing I want to go ahead and let you know is for those of you who are used to typing formatting in normal chat We can just type, you know, and a 
oops, and a, this is a test, and we'll get green text. However, in Denizen, you need to have these two uh, brackets on both sides of it. This will be done for every bit of formatting. And as well, you can see it right here where we have player.name. So, you have received, where's it at? Five. Okay, so we're gonna go and reload. Pop. As you can see, a diamond appeared in my inventory and it's also sending me the message saying I received five. This is a very useful way to link um, multiple script events together for a similar outcome. Because even though I could easily just do this, one, you can see how it can get kind of annoying with the spacing throwing itself off, and two, that looks so much clunkier than just, you know, run my task. So that's a that like I said, um, task scripts are pretty much a an extension of world scripts. They can only be run via other scripts or by command. If you need to test something and you don't want to go through an entire process of doing so, you can type a simple command ex run, and then your task script name. And as you can see, it you'll get this debug here, but you'll get everything else in here as well which is the message we typed, which is player name activated the script, and then you received $5. If I type in balance, you can see I have a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do eco reset just to show you. Okay, so my balance is now zero. If I run the script again and type in Al, I now have $5. That's just to prove it that it does in fact work. Uh, I use this for a lot of scripts. I'll have an event script, or a world script, I mean, uh, that I'll just call upon a task script instead of just me having, like, gazillions of lines of this. You could just have a few lines of the same thing. So that's uh, pretty much all I got for you guys today. Short and sweet tutorial. Very easy. Uh, if this video or this tutorial inspired you, make sure to give me a thumbs up as it'll help me tremendously and I will be able to keep pushing out further tutorials for you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more future content following up Mythic Mobs and Denizen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Class dismissed.